Hello everyone, and this will be the final part for this preamp from Tandberg 3002A. So I completed, I installed the 10,000 microfarad capacitor. So these two amplifiers is MM and MC amplifiers for the vinyl players. And I installed 80 volt, 1000 microfarad there in the power supply. Brand new Nishikons. All right, so now I'm testing, I'm tested uh, all the inputs now and i'm measuring what we have on the output and i tested with different levels everything is clean everything is nice what i like to show you uh take a look so that's one kilohertz and that's what i will be we are currently connected to the tuner input so it's tape tuner they're all the same they connected with the buses and like operate through the switches and have just single amplifier here but i like you to show the frequency response so it's one kilohertz i can go lower right so let's go like 10 gears 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 thousand Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand. And now interesting part starts. So it's ten thousand. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred thousand gears. I'm not kidding. Two hundred fifty, no change, three hundred. I start see a little bit drop, but it still keeps well 400, 500, almost no drop, <laughs> 600, 700, that's preamp with something, 800, 900, 1 megahertz, it still works <laughs> pretty fine, really. That's crazy, guys. Um, I've seen different things, but usually amps work well. 200 kilogears, then we have drops. This is preamp, so it uh, just works on the lot. So that's good. And I've tested a MEM and MC with um, 10 millivolts level. So let me do this. Let's set 400 gears. 10 millivolts. Now I would be able to switch uh, to a mem amplifier. Switching it here. Wow. We need to reduce levels. There's a 10 millivolts, and here is the output level. And it's 400 gears. Now, 1 kilohertz. You see it will drop so on lower frequencies we have a higher amplitude and going two three four five six seven it will drop because it's to compensate uh, mm uh, uh, magneta mechanical this uh, sound pickups from the vinyl players you see and then it goes pretty smooth 40 50 kilohertz it still works degrade slowly uh, but here is a 20 here is a 15 here is a 10 and below 10 is ri rises significantly all right this was the one and that's the other one give me a second all right, uh, switching it right here. So we have a signal. It works a little bit differently. So let me see, I will just increase amplitude a little bit. So that's one kilogear. So let's see how it go below. So nine, eight, it's rises not so significant. It rises like between below like 400 gears. Then it rises significantly. And above 400 gears, so it's one kilohertz, two, three, four. 
see a little bit different uh, response and then it goes significantly lower so we see high frequencies here are reduced so this is to compensate different cartridges all right let me see a tape recorder one i will switch to 100 millivolts okay and let's switch to the here tuner and tape recorder one done we have signal this one is one kilohertz 10 20 30 40 50 60 you see there is no change 70 80 90 100 uh, and above so we can go up to like 500 kilohertz without any changes so this preamp works really well and i ch check it now like all inputs all inputs works well uh, that's um, let me see let me show you uh, volume control so it goes lower higher and balance right channel left channel and a little bit jerky but just a little bit i deoxidized as much as i can all switches and all knobs so everything works this is the high frequencies adjustments works pretty smooth low frequencies adjustments again works pretty smooth all right so that uh, would be it for this amplifier uh, i'm really enjoying working on it i like the modular design and like that uh, there is easy access to all parts and it was easy to work with separate ports right it's a little bit tricky to disassemble so i recommend to remove this side screws and remove side panels and what else technically probably may keep the front panel not removing it i did remove to have access and deoxidize all switches and knobs and ports so let me know your thoughts what you think about this guy so far i was enjoying really good design thank you for your time for attention to my channel if you like put a thumb up subscribe to my channel and see you in my next adventures bye bye hey guys and this would be full assembled complete version of this preamp it looks beautiful uh, what i mentioned that uh, headphones amplifier is fully separate so tone control don't affect it uh, loudness don't affect it, tone defeat and subsonic filter don't affect uh, this amplifier. Only mono button and balance left right uh, will affect and uh, it has custom separate volume control and it's not connected with the main volume. All right. Um, what else interesting? I uh, see here a digital disc on the right. And then we have MM MC tuner, right? And any of these can be overread. Over, we can overwrite with a tape, tape one or tape two, depending on what is connected. And if you like to uh, record, we need to click these buttons to be able to record on the cassette decks. All right, that's simple as that sound is clear very linear i'm enjoying really good device so if you will find one which i doubt i would tell you you can get go for it it's pretty simple all mechanical controls on the front uh, from other sides you have your signal goes from the input connectors 
to the front and then go to the back to the amplifier. So that's that's how it works. But uh, capacitors will use for uh, vinyl amplifiers, 10,000 microfarads. I believe uh, here I installed like 1,000 microfarad for the main amplifier uh, and tone character uh, power circuit. And we have 1,000 microfarad in the power supply module. So I didn't hear any uh, significant uh, noise. So it's, it's very quiet and very pleasant to listen. All right, that would be it. One more time, 3002A, Tanberg, control amplifier. Great and mighty. Thank you. See you in my next videos. Bye-bye.